This is the instructional video that explains what the gearbox contains and how it functions. First we have the gearbox shell. The shell is responsible for housing all the components that are required for the gun to fire. Next is the motor. The motor is the most important part of the gun. It is connected to the wiring and to the battery. Next is the trigger and trigger contacts. When the trigger is pulled, the trigger contacts touch allowing for electrical circuit to be completed. Once completed, the motor receives the electricity and spins its pinion gear counterclockwise. Next is the anti-reversal latch. The anti-reversal latch is responsible for applying constant pressure to the bevel gear to prevent the gears from rotating backwards when the gun is fired. Once the motor begins to spin, it makes contact with the bevel gear, causing it to rotate. The bevel gear rotates in a counterclockwise motion. When the bevel gear begins to rotate, it then causes the spur gear to rotate in a clockwise motion. The spur gear is where all the torque is generated. Now that the spur gear is in motion, the sector gear then is rotated in a counterclockwise direction. The sector gear is the most important gear. It is responsible for pulling back the piston and the tappet plate. The piston is the part that manipulates the air. The tappet plate is responsible for moving the air nozzle allowing BBs to enter the hop-up. When pulled back, the piston compresses the spring, which is held in place by the spring guide and piston. At the same time the piston is pulled back, the tappet plate and air nozzle are pulled back, allowing for the BB to enter the hop-up. Once the piston is brought back, it compresses the spring, then the sector gear runs out of teeth and allows the spring to decompress. The piston is then sent forward, forcing the air captured in the cylinder out of the air nozzle, pushing the BB through the hop-up. Then the BB travels down the inner barrel and continues out of the gun and travels until it stops. This is the conclusion of the instructional video.